Noise levels in classrooms are unpredictable and often very high. It is important to hear and understand both the teacher and students as both provide opportunities for learning. FM compatibility is required when fitting hearing instruments to students as classroom listening conditions are far from optimal. Hearing impaired students are disadvantaged in poor signal to noise ratios compared to their normal hearing peers. Sometimes when the signal to noise ratio is very poor, even an FM system is not enough. This is when voice priority I is relevant. In an adaptive manner, voice priority I adds gain to the FM signal as the signal to noise ratio decreases. Unlike other FM processing strategies, Voice Priority I senses the presence of noise at the student's location rather than at the teacher. This means gain adjustments are only made when it is relevant to the individual student. However, the teacher is not always the primary speaker. Fellow students also make valuable contributions during class. When the teacher is not talking, Voice Priority I quickly adapts to ensure audibility through the hearing aid microphone. Voice Priority I ensures audibility of the teacher's voice when noise is excessive around the student. It ensures audibility of fellow students when the teacher is not speaking. It also facilitates the attention shifting between different speakers when it's noisy. Voice Priority I also adheres to best practice verification guidelines. When designing the Voice Priority I, we have taken into consideration the characteristics of the classroom noise environment. The classroom noise environment is often dynamic and very unpredictable. During development phase, the student has been in the center of our focus and therefore we have placed the noise detectors in the actual hearing instrument. Regardless of the characteristics of the noise, Voice Priority I will make sure that the student hears and understands both the teacher and the fellow students 